Hello, my name is Gary Smith. Uh, I'm here at General Motors R&D. I'm the executive director responsible, in fact, for all of the North American science labs. Within these labs, we do all of the vehicle level research for the corporation, both on the, the body side, on the batteries, as well as all of the propulsion systems, uh, right through from today's engines, you know, gasoline engines, diesel engines, right through to uh, the hybrid systems, the range extenders, and actually up to the fuel cells as well. We're developing many technologies today that's going to improve the performance, the efficiency of the propulsion systems. We're looking at downsizing, we're looking at turbocharging, we're looking at stop-start capability, we're looking at hybrid systems, and we've introduced those technologies and we'll be introducing them more. We're improving the efficiency beyond that with advanced combustion systems. We're actually looking at what is the next generation of combustion system. And really it's, it's very lean, low temperature combustion. It's about running the combustion system at the ragged edge. It's about really eking out as much efficiency as you can. But as you do that, then you need to understand the fundamentals of that combustion system much more than even you do today. And to do that, we need more and more better diagnostic tools and better capability to be able to do predictive simulations of the combustion process, the after treatment process, the controls, etc., to allow us to really get that full potential that we would get from the next generation propulsion system. We've come a long way with regard to our CFD capability. We are doing better with our combustion system modeling, but we have to do much better than where we are. We've improved the knowledge, the chemistry, for instance, of the fuels and being able to, to model those to help again in accurately modeling the combustion. Today's standard, of course, is the RAMS-based CFD methodology, and that has improved and continues to improve and really allows us to get more and more of an understanding of the combustion, of the performance that we can get from that propulsion system. One of the advantages of analysis is, and why it's so complementary with physical testing is that when you do tests, it's almost looking from the outside in. It's, I get a result. I test something, I get a result and then I do another test. I don't necessarily understand the fundamentals of what caused that result. When I do my CFD analysis of the combustion system, I'm looking from the inside out. In fact, I'm looking at what generates that result, what, hap what is happening within the combustion process to generate the end result. We need to look at sprays. We need to understand sprays much better than we do today. We need to look at, at vaporization, we need to look at the penetration of the spray, the vaporization of it, etc. That capability would allow us not only to have more accurate combustion models, but using that we could do a lot of what-if analyses. We could be looking at different types of injectors that we could really optimize those very early without again having to develop the hardware. We need to understand the ignition process. We need to understand what's happening to that flame or if it's flameless with HCCI, what is happening again very close to those surfaces of the cylinder, of the cylinder head, etc. All of these are going to require us to develop high fidelity models that we can use during our engineering and development of the engines. We also have to look at reduced order models that we can put into our control systems, that we can control those systems in the vehicle for the life of the vehicle. Math-based modeling and simulation is absolutely critical to our industry. We use it extensively today in vehicle development and clearly in the propulsion system development. We would not be able to provide the products we have today without math-based capability. But given the exponential growth of what we're delivering to our customers across many, many different countries, it's critical that we continue to develop the state of the art of that capability and that we use that capability to develop better products, faster, 
and at a cost that our customer can afford.